I'm Susan Gottschall, Director of Communications at American Baptist Home Mission Societies, taking some time out this Monday morning to talk with Laura Alden, who is the publisher of Judson Press. There's been a lot of things going on at Judson Press, Laura. Yes. So I thought it was time we sit down and give you a chance to talk about some of them. Um, so Judson Press, while there's a lot going on now, there's also been a lot going on um, since you were founded in 1824. Um, that can be a blessing as well as a challenge, all of that history and in the current milieu that we're in today in this rapidly changing communications technology world. So what has it taken to keep this historic ministry up to date and visible? Well, first of all, I want to say that I have not been around since 1824 <laughs> uh, with Judson Press, but um, thank God there were a lot of um, other faithful people who were. Um, and it, it has taken uh, the faithfulness of American Baptists all through those years uh, to keep this ministry going. Uh, but more specifically, in, in recent years, um, it has taken the investment of the American Baptist Home Mission Society societies to keep Judson Press um, going and viable and strong. Um, as, as you know, uh, in 2003, the American Baptist Home Mission Societies uh, um, took on the Ministry of Publishing in Judson Press and um, has, has actually strengthened it um, in these last uh, 15 years or so. Um, it, it's also taken the, the, highly skill, the, the skill and the commitment and the dedication of, of a staff the Home Mission Society staff and also the Judson Press staff, which is part of the Home Mission staff. Um, and s several of the, the Judson Press staff are long-term lifers um, who have given their lives to this ministry. And I can't really say enough about um, their skill, their expertise, their dedication uh, to this ministry. Uh, and it is, and the other thing that it has taken to keep this ministry going is the loyalty of American Baptists in churches who continue to support us through purchasing Judson Press products, praying for us, being interested in the ministry, and um, just con continuing to uh, encourage us. So especially in the last year, and even in the last six months, Judson has undergone some significant changes. Mm -hmm. Talk about those and why it was necessary to take them on all at once. <laughs> well, um, change, as you know, as all of us know, is, is not a, a linear process often. It's a, you know, more of a, a web. <laughs> and as we looked at some of the infrastructure changes that n needed to happen, uh, you were referring earlier to um, just uh, bringing uh, communications and publishing into a, a digital age. Uh, you know, uh, we needed to do some of those um, those things, um, and also we're looking at moving out of our building, the American Baptist um, Home Mission Society, and so. It seemed like there was this confluence of, of, of events, and we realized we needed to move our warehouse, we needed to update our business software systems, we needed a new website, we needed some new financial reporting uh, capabilities, and so all of these things were kind of interrelated. So we made a three to five year plan, and it all culminated in the last year or so as we made all these changes at one time, which was really exciting and really challenging at the same time. It sounds like a perfect storm. <laughs> well, it sort of was. And um, uh, we did a lot of planning uh, and a lot of praying, um, and it, it, was, it was pretty exciting, <laughs> I have to say. Um, but uh, it seems like it's paid off. Yeah. What were the special uh, accomp uh, accomplishments or unintended consequences along the way? Yeah. Well, um, one of the, um, let me start with um, special accomplishments because as we looked at um, doing our new website that was part of this whole business update, uh, infrastructure update we did, um, 
one of the opportunities we had was to be able to start selling ebooks on our website. Up to this point, we've been able to um, encourage people to buy um, e publications on the, their Kindles, you know, or their Nooks, or in, you know, whatever devices they had, but they would have to go to that source to buy a Justin Press book. And it was up to that vendor whether or not they converted that title. But now we can act, we actually convert our own titles and have them for sale on our website, directly on our website. So people can go to the Judson Press website and order their um, the ebook right there and buy it from us. So that was, you know, something we didn't know that we would be able to do, and, and we can. So that's very exciting. In terms of uh, unintended consequences, there were some things that you just can't always plan for, and it was something that we uh, we did have a little glitch. Uh, was something that we would have never thought would happen. It was one small little thing about mailing. Um, the, uh, one of our products that ended up being a huge problem. <laughs> um, but I have to say our customers um, were lovely and gracious and understood what we were going through. Um, we have the world's best customers, honestly. Um, and, I, and we're very grateful that they supported us through that little glitch. So you have a new website. Mm -hmm. You have uh, a new warehouse yep. system. You have new software to yep. manage sales. With all these changes, how do you see Judson Press moving forward into the the next iteration of the digital age as a mm -hmm. as a publisher, a Christian publisher? Well, I think a lot of things will go more smoothly, actually, especially for our customers, um, because what while I'm talking about all these individual pieces. At this point now, our ordering systems are seamless, you know, and even though we have a new warehouse, that's not something that the customer necessarily has to be involved with, and our, our new business ordering system is all, you know, related to the warehouse. So all of these changes are um, to better serve our customer and, and give them better service, faster service, um, and hopefully... Uh, people will be able to get their products in the formats that they want them, like I was talking about the e-publications. Um, so I'm actually really excited about the capabilities that we have now, um, and, and I think we're positioned well to do a better job for, for everyone and to do a better ministry. Well, I can't think of anything else that would be better. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations on all your accomplishments. Thank you. And we'll look forward to seeing more books from Justin Press in the future. Books and curriculum and our Secret Place devotional. Um, yeah, and our journeys, Bible study. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Laura, for your time this morning. Mm -hmm.